Hey guys, it's Tom Estevan and D. D's in the back over here. And today in this video, it's gonna be what sold this weekend in our eBay store. I watched a video where the guy did this after every transition. Yeah. All right guys, today we're gonna show you everything that we sold this weekend in our eBay store. But if you guys could help us out and support the channel by hitting the like and subscribe button down below, we really would appreciate that. But yeah, this weekend wasn't too bad for eBay. I think we're going in, the, we're in fourth quarter right now. Christmas sales are starting to pump. We got a 10X our eBay store. We're working hard on it. We had a lot of sales over the weekend. Um, you know, so I'm gonna run down through them real quick. Remember, we, we're selling all the head covers, right? We're selling all the head covers. These are our lost leaders to keep our feedback high, to, to keep our five star ratings high. And we, we bought these for about 15 cents a piece. So literally, I own this for 45 cents. We only sell them for like four or five bucks, right? 3.99. Plus shipping, so about $10. So we get about 10 bucks a pack out of them. But you can see just this weekend, we sold about eight, eight packages here, which is which is awesome, which is phenomenal. They're all like college teams. I don't know if that, what is that, the Aztecs? I don't know, the Aztecs, you know, Chicago, Illinois, Iowa. So these are our lost leaders to keep our feedback up, number one. All right, number two, let's go this. This must be like some sort of shirt. I don't yeah, know if we're gonna be- uh, That is uh, $35. $35 for a shirt. These, so this clothing that we have here, we bought in our uh, closeout sale from uh, from Macy's, right? Our Macy truckload sale. Dress so, pants. Yep, so these are dress pants. We probably, we bought them, I think we averaged on that truckload $6 an item that we bought it for, sold it for 35 bucks. We got this red one, what is this, a dress? Yeah, in inventory number. Oh, uh, 434. Yeah, it's a dress uh, and it came out to $58. $58, it's a Ralph Lauren dress, red dress. Uh, 38, this looks like something big here. A leather coat. Okay, so this coat, uh, remember I go to my favorite uh, Goodwill and they have a jacket section and most of the times uh, they list their jackets for $3.99, especially their winter jackets because we're in Florida. Nobody thinks winter jackets have any value in Florida. So old Tom goes in there and buys them for $3.99 and we got $48 on this one here. So $3.99 to 48 bucks. This is a Cutter Buck 547. Uh, that one's $48 and it's a sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. A men's 4XL. 4XL, size does matter when it comes to clothing. Remember, it's hard for people who wear 4XL to find good clothing, all right? So this one, once again, we paid $3.98. We got, uh, we got 48 bucks out of it. This is, uh, this is heavy though, right? This is a, uh, a box of uh, staples. Uh, deck screws, deck screws, 4560. $73. $73, it came out of one of our Home Depot loads. So you can see the sticker is from Home Depot, one of our small loads. So we get $75 out of one item. It's probably been here for a minute, right? I wonder if people can't get it in the stores that often. Actually, no, that was pretty uh, recent. Is it? We yeah, it's one of the high, uh, when it's a high number, then I know that it's one of the recent ones. Okay. Lower numbers are. 2756. Cer ceramic dolls, I don't really care too much for ceramic dolls. They really don't sell that much. So uh, 27 bucks. $27 on this one. My problem is every once in a while you come across some that are worth a lot of money. So when somebody brings in 30 or 40 or 100 dolls, you're like, geez, you know, should I make them an offer of a couple bucks of dolls, hoping that, you know, maybe you're gonna get some that are worth 100, 200 dollars. But that's kind of rare that you're gonna get the expensive ones in there, so. Last week we sold them for over 100 bucks. Yeah, but there are some that, that are really valuable, right? Right. The ones that are like anything Disney, any anything that, that has a subject matter that's other than just a normal little doll, right? Like one time we got um, uh, Gone with the Wind dolls, ceramic dolls. Those went for over $150 each and we had about six or eight of them. You know, so if you find subject matter dolls that are anything Americana, anything Disney, anything, you know, anything, anything, those have a collector, but just the regular ceramic dolls that are just like the babies, not very collectible anymore. This is a pretty cool story here. So we ordered a truckload from Walmart one time and we literally got like, 700 of these dolls on it, right? We had so many dolls, we had them like everywhere in our store up, up above. And um, I even started wholesaling them at $10 a piece. But now that it's Christmas time, you know, I don't wholesale them anymore because we only have 30 or 40 left. But now they're selling for... 138. So that's for two of them though, right? Yeah. So almost $70 a piece. I do think, you know, I think my costs on these were $17. 
So I, I, I paid $17, I had to buy hundreds and hundreds of them. And then, uh, you know, so, so now we're selling for 70 bucks a piece. That's very good. This water pick, we're selling a lot of these. I think we got 50 bucks out of these. I paid 10, had to buy like two pallets of them. I got I paid $10, get 50. 63, the price is going up, man. Neck firming cream, maybe I need some of that for my neck there. Um, I don't see a number on that one. 40 bucks, so 20 bucks a pack for that. That probably just came in one of our Amazon Smalls palette. A Mole Skin Smart Tools 5368. $63. $63. $53. I don't even know what this is. It's like a little tablet. Um, oh, it, when you write inside your little, your, your journal, it automatically transfers into your phone. That's cool. Uh, Holly Hobby. $30 on the Holly Hobby. Oh, this is those knives we had. We had a whole bunch of these knives, right? These are pretty cool, four, three, six, seven. $63 on this uh, Japanese, I think it's a chef's knife, right? This Is this the one somebody like offered us like seven bucks for? Yeah. I hate it, I've been getting a lot of it. So this is a Japanese chef's knife. I don't know if you can see the, can you zoom in on that blade? Can you see how it's kind of weird? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've been getting a lot of offers lately of just ridiculous offers. I don't, we don't have, we're not putting in automatically deny some people, are we? We do not, you know how you can put in there, you know, like, let's say you have something for a hundred bucks, you can automatically deny things under 50. We don't put that in there because Esteban likes the ability to communicate with people if they put, no matter what offer they put in. But then that leaves people the ability to put in an offer of a dollar. I think somebody, I think we had a $1,900 guitar on there and somebody offers a dollar the other day. I, I just, I just deleted that one. I hope you don't mind. All right, Atari controllers, 4897. Atari controllers, 4897. But we've been getting a lot of those lowball offers lately. So, uh, you know, we just we just say, hey, you know, it's 100 bucks, you offer us 20. Like, hey, hey, you know, we appreciate your offer. You know, the lowest we can go is $80 and see what they come back at. $53. $53 for some old school Atari controllers. There we go, with, with the Buddy 3800 BDU Indoor Safe Portable Radiant Heater. The number on this one, I don't see a number on that one, boss. Oh, there it is, 2959. So these are our inventory numbers here. You can see our inventory numbers, how we categorize them. $64 on the Buddy Heater, a good time of the year to be selling all, listen, I buy heaters and air conditioners all year long, and then I sell them, you know, I sell heaters now, air conditioners during the summertime. $32 on the Sopranos DVD. I just did an Amazon Smalls palette and we got about, I don't know, about 100 different DVDs out of it. So I'm pretty excited about getting them listed. A Walt Disney Gnome Mobile 3684. 17 bucks. 17 bucks on this record. Uh, how about 3119? Uh, $62. $62 on the bottle sterilizer. That probably came out of one of our uh, Amazon medium packages. All right, 5116. Anybody seen one of these pillows before? I never have. I did not know. Look at the brand. Can you see the brand? $73. It's actually an UGG pillow, an UGG branded pillow. Now, it feels like real fur. I don't even know if it is or not. It says fern fur pillow. Uh, no, it's fall. It's, it's fake fur. But it's UGG branded and we sold it for $73. That was pretty cool. 5280, an LL Bean backpack. Look at the LL Bean backpack. 50 bucks on that one. I love I love high-end backpacks. I just got in a Jansport backpack the other day. Like a like if you can get a camping backpack that has like the wrap around your, your waist, the, the straps, those are always expensive. There's none of them are cheap. So we just got a Jansport in the other day. This here is the replacement. Uh, controller for uh, for uh, Logic Tech computer speakers. Remember, we we got one truckload. We got about a hundred of these in. We've been selling these consistently all the time. I think like seventy bucks, hundred and four dollars, and we got a ton of these. So this is like a, a center channel and then two speakers. If your center channel goes out, you want to buy a new center channel. Here's one right here. High end high end speakers. These are Symbol um, inventory systems. So these we bought from. Um, we got them from the Sears that closed down. So we went we went into Sears when they were closing down. We gave them $2,000 to take anything we wanted at the end. And we just loaded up with everything we could. We filled the truck. Find those opportunities. Because th So this one item sold for $232, just one item out of, out of, and we had truckloads. They they let us take anything we wanted. We got there in the, la the day before last, we filled the truckload up. We went back the last day, we filled it up again. They just wanted to get things out. In their contract, they just had to have the place cleaned out. So we capitalized on it and made a lot of money off that. 
Looks like a Raiders hat here, 4388. Probably not much, 10, 15. 20 bucks on the Raiders hat, nice. I don't need, what is this, D? Bayo Blades, 4253. I know we got a lot of these on one of our Amazon small truckloads. We sold that for $98. This, $98. And I think we got a lot of those. Boy, we better go look into that. 98 bucks, yeah, we would have put them in the bin store. 4275, this is a hearing assist recharge kit. Not sure, $150. Anything hearing aid is good. Uh, portable stove. Let me see. 3019 portable stove. Uh, 50, that guy looks like you. That guy looks like you. This one? Yes. $57. That look like me from back there? No, it looks like <laughs> $57. All right, how about this? 4661. I have no idea what the hell this is. Yeah, I don't. What's the number? 4661. An LED standard pneumatic cylinder, which I don't know what that means. How much? $91. 91 bucks. That came in one of our Amazon medium pallets, medium pallets. All right, so th this was a good weekend of sales, but last but not least, we had one home run sale this weekend, which we're pretty excited about. And here we go, look at this. This is a, um, this is a Cordoba Salvarez limited edition guitar which, you know, I mean, look at the absolute beautiful woodwork on it. This thing was in mint condition. It came in one of our Amazon medium pallets. And, you know, you can tell that there's a, there's a, uh, you can tighten the neck. Whenever there's a neck rod in there, you know it's a little bit better of a guitar. If there's no neck rod, that means that you can't straighten the neck. But you can just see the fine woodwork in this guitar was impeccable, impeccable. So we put this, I think it might have been, it has, a, has a, a humidor case. You know, look at, you can, you can put moisture in here to make sure it doesn't rot out here. Um, just everything is beautiful about this guitar. We were so shocked when we looked it up. We put it on eBay and it sold for a grand total of? $812. $812, that's right. Remember, I only paid like $250 for the pallet. This is one item out of $60 on a pallet. Boom! $812, what a home run. What a home run. He shoots, he scores. All right. All right, signing off for now, Esteban and Tom. Hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Uh, like us on Facebook, like, like us everywhere. Listen, if you need, you wouldn't let me do this? No, you don't conclude. I wasn't gonna conclude, I was gonna do something. I know what you said, I know what you want me to do, I was gonna do it, but you want, you want me to do it first? Yes. I'm still gonna say like and, like and subscribe again, but you want me to do that, send them somewhere else first. I don't want you to say like and subscribe, you already said it. All I want you to do is continue the video as if it was like a, a cliffhanger almost. Wait, hang on a second. Let me make this clear. Esteban didn't like how I was concluding this video, so he's gonna do it. Okay, sorry. Um, this is what we sold on eBay this week, but click on the link right here so you can see the other stuff that we sold on eBay this week.